All right guys, welcome back to Forgotten Treasure. Today we are gonna be going over wax sealing. This is a method that you can use to preserve your finds. What we're gonna be using today is called Renaissance Wax. Uh, it's a conservator wax. It, you can buy it on Amazon. It's relatively cheap and inexpensive. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up. I recommend doing this in a well-ventilated space. This stuff's pretty potent. Sorry, we've got a little bit of a guest here. Hi, Candy. All right, that was my uh, friendly kitten, Candy. She wanted to come by and say hi. So <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to take your wax. You're going to get a soft cloth or some sort of soft, lint-free pad. Go ahead and get a little bit on there. Rub it on. It goes on pretty easily. <clears throat> you really don't need a lot. This goes a long way. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slowly apply that all over the artifact you want to seal. I highly recommend wearing gloves while you do this because this stuff is kind of messy, it's slippery, it goes on everywhere. It dries pretty quick and it's a real pain to get off of your skin. So make sure you get full, nice coverage across all surfaces. This only really works if you seal everything of the artifact. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna leave a nice wax seal over the artifact, which once it hardens, which doesn't take very long, <clears throat> will encapsulate the artifact, protecting it from outside contaminants, fingerprints, oils, moisture, and it'll prevent further deterioration of the artifact. So here we go. This guy's all nice and evenly coated. Go throw him over there, let him seal for a minute. Takes about 10 15 minutes for this to fully uh, dry and cure, and then you're good to go. Let's go ahead and do that to a couple more of these. Like I said, we gotta make sure we have full coverage. So especially on artifacts like this guy here that have little nooks and crannies, you gotta be real sure you work it in. Get all the way in there because you got one little opening. <clears throat> That's enough for contaminants to get inside. Candy, get out of here. As you can see, we're not going through this stuff very quickly. So one little uh, rub of that stuff goes a quite a long way for your artifacts here. So, and as you can see on these guys, they're starting to uh, dry up and it goes on nice and clear. And once it's dried, you can't even really tell that you got anything on there anymore. That's adds a nice little matte finish. And you can kind of buff that down to the point where you want it afterwards all right now that i got all these guys fully encapsulated we're gonna let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes <clears throat> and at that point they should be safe for you to handle with your hands like i said the great part about this wax is you can handle your artifacts you don't have to worry about any oils or residues from your hands being left behind um, and they're just pretty well protected now so one of the pros of this particular method of preservation is you can pick this up at the store. It's quick to apply. We did all of this within, you know, five minutes. You can put it on quick, easy, and then you've got a nice seal on your artifacts. Downsides, you get a relatively small amount. It, 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 it could be time consuming if you're trying to do this on a large artifact, like say you've got a whole cannonball. Trying to buff this all over the entire surface and then let alone try to figure out how you're gonna get the inside of it. That could be a real uh, big hassle. Where this really excels is small artifacts like this. Um, really anything beyond this size, I probably wouldn't recommend this method. Um, we Beyond that, for large stuff, you want to go through a paraffin boil, which is we will cover in another video. But this is a great method for small artifacts like this. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This helps someone out there preserve your artifacts so they don't fall apart, deteriorate, and fall victim to time. 
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time.